What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Empire of Sid, episode two with me, Gamer Noob. We're going to check out the Empire Overview screen. This is your empire at a glance. Everything you need is here, and it goes pretty deep. You can see things like who runs the neighborhood, what people are drinking versus what you're serving, what others in the neighborhood are up to. You can see opportunity, too. Optimize alcohol, get an underboss and an advisor, add some synergy bonuses, or even a hotel. Have a look around. Got when it. When you're ready, select the racket tab. All right. So we, nobody owns the neighborhood we're currently in. Um, it's got a mediocre prosperity level. They prefer stop shelf liquor. There's a lot of customers. Earnings. Rackets 2 out of 12. And there's 40. 2 out of 12 they're operating. And there's 43 uh, oh, total. Okay. It's a lot of information. Like, this is a lot of information. This is good for some people. The racket tab shows every racket you know about, including those owned by others. You can see what level of upgrade they're at and compare your own. Now, select Customer. Alright. The Customer tab shows how well you do in filling your rackets with customers. You can increase customers by upgrading your word of mouth advertising, locating next to other rackets, or improving your ambience. Next, open the finance screen. So we're competing at the moment? They're all 5 for 10 and we've charged 540. The finance tab gives you an overview of everything you're making and spending. Last, select alcohol. All right, so alcohol tab. The alcohol tab gives you an overview on what's being made and where. You can see your upgrades here as well, and how they can be improved. Hit F8 to head back to your, your hideout, okay. Um. Looks like you just got a mission. Get a better look at what you need to do by opening the mission screen. Here, you can see a list of active missions, as well as each mission's requirements and descriptions. You can toggle completed missions by selecting the Close tab. Your active mission will also appear on the main screen. Got Close it. Close the mission screen. Okay. You need to get moving. Get a crew. Get rackets. Fortify them. Make allies and enemies. And take them out. That's how you own this city. Go get them, Kingpin. I'll see you around. All right, so I think we're... So, what now? Well, that's up to you, boss. You got the tools to take over this city. How you do it is up to you. Take a look at your mission journal to get started. You've got to take this city piece by piece. If you want a suggestion, you can start by taking control of this neighborhood first. Good luck, Kingpin. Got it. All right. So, yeah, I think I want to, yeah, like what he said, I want to take control of this city first. Looks like we got, I wonder what all this is. Interact. All right. This is the diplomacy screen. As you meet other bosses, you can offer trades and alliances, demand a sit down, or start a war. Work your contacts before you off them. You can see at a glance how you're performing against other factions, how they feel about you and why. Keep in mind that bosses have their own unique personalities that affect how they feel about other bosses. Police are here too. Keep them sweet, and they'll do you favors down the line. Head to the next tab. This is where you can go to set up sit-downs with other bosses. You can trade, set up a standing order of alcohol, set up a business arrangement, and set up packs, among other things. Police have their own set of actions here, different from other bosses. You can bribe them, bail your crew out of jail, and even get the cops to protect you if your rating is high enough with them. Non-aggression packs and protection packs are a useful way to increase honor. They're a promise from you to another boss to back off each other or protect each other from outside threats. Breaking a pact will result in a massive loss of honor, making it harder for other bosses to trust you. Head to the next tab. 
Here, you can see your history with this boss, as well as what they've got on their agenda. Now, head to the last tab. Here, you can see how you're ranked against other factions by strength, cash, alcohol, and rackets. Your strength is a combination of your net income and your hired gangsters. You'll become stronger if you grow your empire, increase your income, or hire more gangsters. Explore different tabs to get a better idea of how you can use diplomacy to your advantage. Gotcha. All right, so we have all these. We're at the bottom. That's okay. We're at the bottom for now. What else we got in here? I got this. Let's check As this out. Command. The Empire Overview is divided into neighborhoods. It allows you to see things like who's running the neighborhood, how safe it is, what synergies you have, and what people are drinking. You can keep an eye on how many customers you have versus how many customers are going to other bosses' rackets. Upgrading word of mouth and ambience will bring more customers to your table. All right. Let's check this out. Can we... Can we still, okay, we can not select that. Cool. Okay, so word of mouth is important. So is ambience. <clears throat> also, I mean, security and deflect. So slightly decreases the chance of raids. Okay. Currently, we're... Full with 50 out of 50 customers, got a three draw. Average spend, base value, we make about 236 bucks. Serving type rack. Okay, so let's see here. We'll upgrade word of mouth. Actually, wait, cancel that. Increases the upkeep. This increases draw as well. Let's get that upgrading. It takes 33 days. Here's our brewery. Uh, I think I'm going to get another upgrade of guards on this. I think I'm going to try to keep things safe. And how about we upgrade our alcohol as well? Now we could rush these things. Is it worth rushing is the question. I think we'll make way more money in those amount of days. So let's do that. Let's rush like the smaller upgrades at the very least. Because we're making 238 bucks right now. So we should be fine. And this is our safe house. Which we definitely want to have more guards at. There we go. Alright. I like it. Oh we also have minus 25% on these upgrades. All right, we'll do that for now. Keep around two grand. All right, cool. What about you? All right. Same thing, okay. All right. Whoa. Vacant buildings can be purchased. Or you can attack, okay. Crazy. What's this? Casino? This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, dude. I like this. How do I go back? How do I go back? Hail. Uh, F8? Do you want to know more about upgrading your alcohol? Old Sal's got a few tips he can oh. teach you. Show me. First things first. You're going to want to look at your rackets that are making alcohol and see what you can do about upgrading them. Select one of your rackets under production. From here, you can upgrade the production and quality of your alcohol. If you've got the dough, you can upgrade those vectors now. If not, hey, it ain't like it's going anywhere, right? Okay. Upgrading you'll notice a few columns here, but the one you want to look at now is alcohol type. Breweries won't go making a new alcohol type without your say-so, of course. So you can change that here. You can cycle through all of your available alcohol types until you find the one you want. Okay. The consumption column tells you what you're serving versus what your neighborhood wants you to serve. You see a red X? That means you ain't serving what your customers want. Keep selecting that alcohol icon until you see a green check mark. People will always pay more for quality, but the best way to get them to part with their cash is to give them what they expect. That's what that green check means. These next two tabs are for storage and trees. Storage will tell you how much booze you're holding and where you're holding it. Treaties are standing orders that you set up with other bosses. 
You can set up a deal to give another boss booze for a price, or pay to get booze from them. This tab will stay locked until you set up one of these deals. And that's all there is to it, Kingpin. Okay, so we can... We're not making top... We don't make top shelf right now is the problem. Like We can make rack... Which is the barrel. Yeah, we can make rack, which is the barrel. Yeah, I know you don't want that, but that's kind of what we got at the moment. And we're making... I wish I could see better what this is. A little difficult. Um... Yeah, you can't even over. You definitely needs to be a thing where you can like hi highlight these things to see exactly what they are. Like this is swill and this is rack. <clears throat> also, we're losing a lot more money than I thought we were, and that's awkward. So how do I get out of this? I want to get out of this. Um. Look back inside. Okay, there we go. Okay, I figured out how to get out of it. I was like, it's just like hovering and not letting me do anything. All right, what you got in here? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, game paused. My bad. This is where we upgrade you. All right. Well, you know our boss. Could probably use the metal line jacket there. Why don't we give him a grenade as well? No melee weapon, that's fine. Regular ammo, no special kind of ammo. Solid pistol there. Does 14 to 17 damage, okay. Let's see, you're a submachine gun user. 12 to 20. There you go. Throw that on. We have a doctor's bag right there as well. Yeah, we'll give we'll give you the doctor's bag. Here you go. Alright. Good enough for now. You picked up a new tier of weapon. Head into the gangster sheet to learn how to equip it. Okay. Here you'll see our active characters loadout. This is all of the equipment that they currently have equipped. Select a weapon slot to open up your faction inventory. Here you can see all of the weapons that your faction has available and which weapons your character can equip. Note, each profession is limited to certain weapon types. Select a new weapon from the faction inventory if you want to equip it to your active character. There you go, we did it for you, boss. <clears throat> You're taking the fucking piss. Excuse me? Yeah, get out of my neighborhood. Gonna, you know, talk like that to me the first time we meet? Get out of here. Alright, I don't see any other... Oh, except this. As you is this just, mu is this just music? Oh, that's funny. Alright, let's get out of here. Go find something new to do. Okay. Take over a new racket, perhaps, if we can. Let's get, a, get the pause here real quick. So we got our speakeasy over there. Got our storehouse. We need to generate some more income. What are you? You're a derelict building. Well, you know, let's uh. Okay. Let's just start moving. I saw a casino this. over on this direction, Move. didn't we? Maybe. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. It's a lot of derelict buildings around, man. Right. Also, we're wanted and there's an officer right there. Run, 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 run. Let's take over the thing next to us. Let's take over this. Let's get inside up in here. 
Because we are losing money fast, so we definitely need to do something. It's a derelict building, so it's it's hey, nothing. Okay. Right there. You want more pointers? Works in Empire of Sin. Show me. First, let's talk chance to hit. Every attack's accuracy depends on lots of things, like what kind of weapon you have equipped, your marksmanship level, and the enemy's defense. The default target for any attack will always be the one you've got the highest chance of hitting. Handy, ain't it? Handy. While in combat, both indoors and outdoors, you'll notice tiles that are highlighted along the edge of the combat area or around the door. These tiles are your exit points. Moving a character to one of these tiles will cause the escape action to appear on your action bar. Using this action will allow your characters to escape current combat and return safely to the safe house. Okay. When you or one of your crew is down, there's a chance that you'll start bleeding out. When that happens, you'll have a limited amount of turns to get them back up. They'll be gone for good. Use a first aid kit, doctor's bag, or a mob doctor with the heal ability to get them back on their feet. Negative status effects, such as bleed or poison, can be removed in two ways. Mob doctors can use their heal ability on themselves or on a target character. Or, if you've got a bandage, you can use it to remove a negative status effect from the active character or a target character. Just remember, the bandage is consumed upon use. One last thing. If you get injured, you can heal yourself both in and out of combat using a first aid kit, doctor's bag, or a mob doctor's healing. If you're in combat, use the item or ability as an action to heal the injured crewman. All right. Good to know. Now, let's take our shot. Shit, they got me. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm gonna Overwatch with him. Kind of learning the Overwatch at the moment, you know. Right All right, Miller, get in there. Nice, Miller. That's actually not cover, which is very interesting. Wonder of why course. not. Wonder why not. I'm also curious if there's friendly fire outside of like grenades or like AOEs. And you can heal him from there with a the, with the health kit, apparently. Interesting. Ow! Quit dropping my morale. It's rude. You keep doing what you do from over there, Daniel. I like him having the nice business suit and the revolver. Makes me feel good. You take this guy out. Tell him to sit down. Entendido. And you have a better shot from over here. Oof. That's okay. That's what these games are, right? Pretty much. And good night. <clears throat> what do we get? Health tonic. Sometimes it's your best. Restore 30 health each round for the next rounds. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Pay to gain control of the building, establishing a racket type, ransack, raid the building, and steal anything that's not nailed down. You can walk away with money, weapons, you name it. This action will close the building for a short amount of time or smash up, destroy the building, which will temporarily disable its function. Let's take it over. I think we want to make another speakeasy. It's the Moonlight what? Tavern. Hopefully this will make us some money. All right, we need Looks to... like you just got a new item. Head into the gangster's rep sheet to learn how to equip it. Okay. Each character has two utility slots and one equipment slot. Consumable items can be equipped to the utility slots. Equipment, like body armor, can be equipped to the equipment slot. Okay, good to know. Highlight an item to see what its effects are. You can see which items are available and which ones are being held by another crew member. Select an item and that's how it's done. 
You can do the same thing with weapons. Gotcha. All right, cool. Good to know. We'll, we'll put it on him since he doesn't have one. You seem to get hit quite a bit as well, so it's nice to do this, I think. All right. Well, we need to figure out our racket overview here. The Moonlight Tavern here. You were just built, so that might be why. Here in the finance info screen is where you'll find a breakdown of your rackets all in one place. See how much they're making or how much they're costing you. Your crew of gangsters will all be listed in the crew tab. And lastly, if you've got any Yeah, we already we already went over all that, I think. So we should be getting stuff soon, right? I would think so. We could sell it if we wanted to, but no. I don't want to do that. I want to figure out how to do everything here. So we're making that yep, obviously. So this should this should pick up business once we get out of here, I think. All right. Like that should start making money. There we go. Yep, you just saw it. You just saw it go from negative to six thirty. All right. Well, we want to take over like a business, right. man. Is what we want to do. What's this? It's a brothel. Okay. Let's investigate okay. it. The Jinnah. How dare you? How about you get out of my city? You gonna tell me to, to, to fuck off? No, no, that's not cool. Couldn't help but notice your new building's a loop. You plan on takeover? Because I'm pretty freaking pissed if you are, but we don't need to fight. Just give me 4,500 and everything will go back to normal. I have my word. A little healthy competition never hurt anybody. Alright. So I want to take this over. Okay. But I don't. It did not. You have a 60% chance of winning. Donald's the graduate for a fight. <laughs> oh hello there. Y'all just gonna just gonna drop in, are you? Well, how about we do something like this? <laughs> That 72% chance there, though. Alright, Hugh. Understood. Get up here. Assholes. The Jenna guard is helping us? Interesting. Sitting ducks out here! We got a police officer. Hey, get out of here, Popo! I wasn't I wasn't coming after you. Yeah, I wasn't coming after you at all. Nice. I like the rifle. Hugh! No! Alright, get, your, get yourself closer, Vice King. Hugh's not having a good time right now. He's having a bad time at the moment. 80% chance, more or less. I think we can take that to get rid of this guy, honestly. Well, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't have just attacked me. And then we'd have a better time with each other. But no, you just, you just go out. I just walk outside and you just start shooting me. So you know what? Your guards are gone now. How's it feel? How's it feel? I don't want to kill the police officer. Get down! I mean, I get why I might need to, but like, I don't, I don't want to. Just in these turns here. Okay. Like, how about you stay over there? I'm 
just set up oh, right here. Do it. It's fine. Watch him like a bunch of Donovans run out of here. That'd be hilarious. We'll let the Jenna guard go kill the police officer. How about that? Oh wow! What a knife throw. Suspect is resisting arrest. I'm not. I just don't. I mean, I mean, I am. I guess I don't want to be arrested. You're right. You sure you don't want to just not attack me, officer? It'd make life easier. Yeah, didn't want to do that. But I mean, like, you didn't give me much of a choice there, did you? Ooh, new pistol. And some, some bitters. I'll take it. Where's my other uh, person, by the way? See? I'm on it. There we go. How dare you stay inside? As you command. What's everybody doing? Everybody pretty much full health? All right. You see this? I want to attack it, personally. I wanted to... No, I want to take this place over. Like... Bartender, what's up? Hey there. Never mind. So why can't I take this okay. place over? I'm kind of confused. I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. Hey, Kingpin, you've got a new talent available. You want to learn about talent trees? Okay. Now, head into the talent tree to see what talents you've got available to you. You've got five tiers of available talents that you can learn. Talents take time to learn, so after you choose a talent, you'll have to wait a while until you can use it. Once you pick a talent from a tier, you can't learn any others from that tier again. So make sure you pick the one you want. Look through your available talents and pick one now. <clears throat> so no matter how much damage we take, when we hit zero, we always bleed out. We no longer trigger Overwatch or any character that 4 meters of you will bleed out instead of dying when this area experiences zero. I like that, actually. Let's take Lifeline. Gangsters have talents too, and their talents are specific to their professions. Check out one of your gangsters to see what kind of talents they've got available to them. Okay. Let's see here. So tier one. So we call your shots, mark target, place a mark on the target. Mark targets have their defense reduced by 25%. Or fire a stream of bullets over the target area with a chance to deal damage to any... Oh, yes. Always sweet. AoEs. AoEs for days. <clears throat> Taunt nearby enemies. Place the name to target you. Or suppress an enemy target. Taunt. Alright, there we go. All right. Well, I still don't know how to take this place over. I could declare war with him, maybe. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What's our standing with them currently? Plus 33, I don't even... You have a lot more stuff than me. Maybe we shouldn't be declaring war with you then. Maybe we shouldn't be. All right. So we can't just like straight up just like take over a place, which is interesting. What's up, officer? Hey, no mind. Well, that actually looks like we're getting pretty close to the end here, guys. So that's going to do it for this episode of Empire of Sun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.